Time now for a full look at your forecast with meteorologist Mike Hernandez he is filling in for Sharon Ray this morning. And Mike, you and I were talking during the break about running, getting out there outside to run, but there's particular times you probably want to step outside to do any exertion like that. Yeah, that's a really good point. So either you do it in the morning or you do it late in the evening, and that applies to walking your pets as well. So you're going to be walking your dog. Remember, uh, don't want to go out there in the middle of the day. The asphalt, the cement, those sidewalks get very, very hot for them, and it can damage uh, the bottom of their paws. Outside right now, we're sitting in the upper 70s and the low 80s. We do have a southeast wind, and that southeast wind is going to be breezy through the afternoon, so that will help kind of move around the heat. You see, there's not much in the way of cloud cover, and for the rest of today and most of tomorrow, it's going to be about the same. Now, nationally, we're continuing to see the big storms to the north and back across the southern plains. There's a front in Texas, actually, but it's just not doing anything, and we're just not going to see it make its way towards us. So over the next few days, we're going to continue to see that southeast wind, and that's going to keep us humid. And at least for now, it's going to keep us very hot and very uncomfortable. That combination of mid 90s and real high humidity will give us heat index readings today in the afternoon uh, between 106 and 109, 110. So it's going to be very uncomfortable, even dangerous. So be sure and stay hydrated, stay in the shade and take plenty of breaks. OK, now the good news is it's a little bit better as we get into the latter parts of the week and into the weekend. Talking low 90s, we'll take it, right? And again, as I mentioned, windy today, and we will lose some of the stronger winds, though, as we get into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we actually do pick up a chance of some showers. Here's the winds as we go through the day. You can see by this afternoon, we're talking 20 miles per hour, and we're talking some gusts possibly beyond that. If you're heading out to the beach today, you're going to be there. Uh, it does look like we're going to see some upper 80s. And again, we're looking at those winds breezy, but it is going to stay on the humid side. So what's going on? Well, we have a big ridge of high pressure, OK? And that high has just been sitting over us. And it acts like a pressure cooker. It sits on us, and everything in that pressure cooker, everything underneath it, including Texas, is going to get hotter and more humid. That's what's going on here. Now, earlier in the week, it was actually centered across the mid-sections of the country, and everybody was breaking records then. It's starting to change. As we get into Thursday and Friday, we're going to see it wobble around a little bit, and then it finally starts to move off, and it'll give us a little bit of a break here as we go into the weekend. That's why I'm saying the temperatures are actually going to be going down into the low 90s. That's the difference as we go through today and into the next few days, all right? We're going to continue to see those southeast winds throughout the day. Again, not much in the way of cloud cover, but check this out. As we get into Thursday, notice a little green starting to show up. We'll see one or two chances for some patchy rain. Looks a lot more impressive here than what I think it's going to be. But we're going to see Friday and into early Saturday about a 20% chance of some showers. So just keep that in mind. And if you look at the seven day, breezy now, Still very hot. Heat index is a big problem through the day. And then that gradual slowdown in winds and also a decrease in temperatures as we get into Friday, Saturday, and we pick up some rain again into next week with those morning lows in the 70s.